And I was shocked at how well it worked because I've only started doing these treatments only two months ago. So that shows you that, hey, might be onto something, period. Okay? Yeah, they call me that girl. And when they call me that girl, it's a fat girl. Oh, you didn't know? Don't try to act girl. You know you see me coming. Just Hey ladies, it's your girl Chi, and for today's video I'm going to be talking about keratosis pilaris. And for those of you guys who don't know what KP is, it is basically rough and bumpy skin, also known as chicken skin, goosebumps, or some people um, equate it to like you looking cold all the time, having those little bumps on your skin. So yeah, basically um, they are mostly caused through, at least what I read and linked to me, is genetics. I've seen my mom has them. Um, so it's like a genetics thing. There could be other factors, shaving, waxing, things of that nature can also cause it. But for me, I think it's more of a genetics thing. Luckily, I don't get them on my legs. Um, people have them on their legs and they call them strawberry legs. I don't get them on my legs. I only have them on the sides of my thighs and on my butt. <laughs> Then one day I was reading a tweet, oh my gosh, and it's funny though because my skin is soft everywhere but those two places, like the size of my thighs and my butt. My skin is soft everywhere and super soft, but I've seen this tweet and if I find it I'm going to put it on the, um, on the screen because it's so funny, but basically, y'all, I laughed for like five minutes, it was so funny to me. But then I sat back and thought, like, damn, like, you know, like, shit, I'm a little bumpy and rough, too, you know? And I started thinking, like, dang. And then I thought, too, I was like, yo, these are really the places that your boo will be touching, you know? And it's like, you know, it's getting cold. I'm trying to get me a little bay or whatever. So, you know, I was just like, <laughs> let me go ahead and handle this. And you know what? I don't do things for men before y'all start coming at me. I don't do anything for men. And she don't do it for the men. Men never notice. Shout out to my nigga Drake. I do things for myself, okay? So with that being said, I was just like, you know what? Let me see what I can do. So I started researching some videos. And I started, you know, getting my little tips. I'm telling you, YouTube is the best, you know? Like, watch videos, take things from each video, make it work for you. That is the power of YouTube. It's awesome. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you guys what worked for me. And I don't have any before and after pictures. But just know that... I'm giving you the real deal because I had it and I don't have it. And I was shocked at how well it worked because I've only started doing these treatments only two months ago. So that shows you that, hey, might be onto something, period. So a little background, y'all, about me is that, like I said, I don't, I don't get them on my legs. It's just my thighs and my butt, my side of my thighs and my butt, um, which I don't shave. I don't do anything to. So I think it just, it just happened because I don't shave um, or get a wax above my thigh like I just leave that hair alone like just leave it alone because it's really not that visible so I just leave that hair alone so I don't know why I have it bumpy in those areas and then the areas that I wax and shave and you know do a lot too I don't have them but I don't know I'm not sure why but I do exfoliate my body really well so maybe that's the case with those areas I pay more attention to exfoliate in those areas maybe maybe that's why but yeah so I feel like I'm babbling but step one guys this is what worked for me. It may not work for you, but it worked for me. I'm not a doctor, but this is what I did. So I'm going to be real with y'all. That's how you know I use the product. It's been two months since I bought this and I finished the whole thing. And I mostly just use it on those areas that I'm trying to get rid of the KP. But I just want y'all to know, when you're looking for something to exfoliate with, there are different types of exfoliators. Okay? There's light exfoliators, medium exfoliators, and deep exfoliators. You will need a deep exfoliator. I've tried every exfoliator and this is probably the best one I've ever used because it gives me a deep exfoliation without scratching my skin. Like the St. Ives apricot scrub is a really good one as well, but I always feel like it scratches up my skin, like it kind of hurts, but that one feels amazing. Like I don't feel like my skin is tearing or anything like that, but I do notice a deep exfoliation. And yeah, you know, like I know some like skin critics are gonna come at me for saying this, but I exfoliate every day, okay? Like I do, I'm um, some days I'll, I'll take like, I'll take a break, um, a day in between, like every other day I'll exfoliate, but for the most part I exfoliate every single day and it works for me, my skin is fine, like it's all good, so do with that what you will. Make things work for you, for me, that works for me. Next, I raved about this product in my last video about getting rid of your ingrown hairs and it is the good old tanned skin. So, to get rid of the KP, 
you're going to need yourself something like um something with glycol glycol or something like that something with like glycol um it just helps like open up those pores and stuff like that so yeah this is really good stuff I so I use the 10 skin right after I get out the shower and I also use it at night. Lastly, what I used was the raw organic shea butter. This is the real deal, y'all. I have family in Nigeria and every time they go home, I make sure they bring me that raw, authentic, real deal shea butter. And this is what I've used and it really has softened my skin. Shea butter is a great moisturizer to soften skin, hydrate skin, moisturize skin. You just don't want your skin to be dry. All right. So, some things to not do. Listen up. Don't pick at it. Like, I know I picked up. Let me, let me tell y'all. <laughs> Learn from me, okay? Learn from your girl. Keep in mind, okay? Don't pick at it, okay? Don't pick at KP. Don't pick at it. I promise you, you will leave off worse than when you started. And it's just going to be a, a new thing to deal with because you're going to get, like, a, a mark. So I picked on one of mine because it was kind of like a, a big one. It's kind of like a little scab. Like I'm picking at a scab and every time I pick at it, it bleeds. Don't pick at it. Exfoliate, do the treatment, and just continue to do it. Nothing is going to happen overnight. So you must just continue to do it and be consistent. That's one thing I truly was just very consistent with and I genuinely saw results. Like I was even feeling myself this morning like, wow, like I have got to share this with YouTube. And it only took me two months okay and I know summer's right around the corner so this is the time to get started get right so you can look beautiful in your bikinis get all right okay. so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope I helped you guys answer any questions feel free to leave any questions that you have for me in the description box below you know I'm here to help I answer all my comments don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you guys so much for watching this video have a blessed day bye